Welcome back to Dark Souls 2 and back into the Shrine of Amana. We are about to go. I hope everyone's feeling very zen for this episode because considering what we've come across uh, so far, well, we're going to need it. <laughs> we're going to need every bit of spiritually induced patience, mental fortitude, and so on that we can summon. Speaking of summoning... There are summons here, but that's not what we do here. We're strong, independent, undead. We don't need no summon. All right, great magic weapon. Seems great. I think we're going to save it for a, uh, a different opportunity. Let's go ahead and do our usual bow. Uh, oh, I already have it equipped. Let's go ahead and get this big guy down. Next time I'm in Majula, I'll try to remember to buy like 500 more from uh, the blacksmith. My 600 that I bought like way back towards the beginning, that has actually lasted me pretty well up until now, so that's uh, gratifying. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. I actually really liked the, uh, the bow strategy that we kind of utilized towards the end. They're savvy to our strategy now. Let's see, who else do we have here? You. Oh, right. These these guide. I forgot. Well, that's fine. Get another arrow off. Okay, very good. All right. And they are down for the count. They're just sitting there with their shields up, aren't they? Well, I'm going to shoot them. Oh, did they get healed? Oh, that must be what that one does back there. Yep. No more healing for you. Any other sorcerers? in this area. There's one over there. Can I hit you from downtown? Oh, you know I can. All right, one more. Adjusting for the wind, rotation of the earth. Cool. All right. Let's stow the bow. And actually probably stow the catalyst for the time being. Alright. 1v1 me. Come on. No. Come back. Whoa. Whoa. That didn't do much. Okay. Let's try this again. Foolish. Oh, another one of you? Super uncool. Where can I, where can I snipe you? I feel like I'm going to fall off there, so probably not there. Alright, I can barely see you through the fire. Oh! <laughs> Stuck in the fire. You know that fire was solid? It's true. Okay, that's annoying. Okay. 
And another one down for the count. More Archdrake robes. Alright, I know what the, this means. I know what the twinkly dust means. Well, generally I know what it means. It means there's undead zombie uh, fish guys in the water. Oh! Shoot. Oh, and I'm being invaded too. Peculiar... Kindulier. Whoa. That sounds like a, uh, well, where are they? Sounds like a kid's book. Peculiar Kindulier and the Bad Day at School. <laughs> or something. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Oh, okay. I see. Well, let's get this guy down first. And then throw this life gem on. this pillow to our advantage. Yep. I love cheesing with the pillar. Ever since the Forest of the Fallen Giants, it's been our bread and butter. Haha. <laughs> We're too smart for you, Peculiar. One more. One more. One more. Oh, shoot. I got greedy. Yeah, none of that. None of that. Nope. Here we are. So long. Peculiar, Kindulier, and the... Failure to kill the undead. Peculiar Kedulier and the no good, horrible, very bad day. Authored by one Odysseus. Red Iron Twin Blade. Ooh. It's better than a regular Twin Blade, I would think. But, uh, we don't really use the Twin Blade all that much. Still cool, though. Alright. Will I fall in? Oh, I see the edge there. Very tricksy. Homing Crystal Soul Mass. That's the name of my band, if you didn't know. <laughs> what does that do? Uh, oh, I see. Oh, really cool. It's like uh, the seek and destroy spell, right? You, you pop one off and then it pursues your enemies. Can I get... I wonder if I could like use a torch to see where the floor ends. Is that possible? Because... I don't like having to guess if I'm going to fall into an endless crevasse. Friend ahead? Really? Oh, fog gate. And another uh, individual. Sadness? Oh, no. What? What happened? Was it all an, an illusion? It was only just a dream. Kind of looked like the... What was that lady? The, the Milfanito? Lady that we met? Uh, Alright, this definitely feels like boss territory. Uh, great we magic weapon. Should we preemptively cast that? I guess there's no harm in doing that. I don't know if it's still going to count during the cutscene. 
I mean, knowing the game, it probably will. But uh, maybe we'll get a couple sneaky hits off, so let's do it. Great magic weapon. Two-hand it, and let's do this. The Demon of Song. Wow. Not what I expected to see here. Oh, okay. I understand immediately, I think. We're going for the eyes. Open up. Save some stamina. Ooh. Nice one. One more. Magic damage feels good. Hard to say. Ooh. Oh, shoot. Ah, I got greedy there. But great magic weapon, I think, might be our new go-to. That felt like some significant damage output there. All right, to what extent can I just run past? Oh no, Hood of the Forlorn at risk. Oh gosh. Hang on. Okay, so apparently I can't just muscle my way past. Is, is my equipment good? Hang on, let me double check. Oh no, the hood is broken! That sucks. Well, we'll just find a backup hood then. Uh, actually, remove the bow. We've got no need for that now. Uh, Wanderer's Hood is exactly 50. We'll go back to Majula eventually. How much degradation did that do to my... Oh, man. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. Here's what I've learned. We'll do this right. I'll get out the bow, and I'll spare your, you all the tediousness, and we'll meet up back at the boss. How about that? Whoa, my souls are really far back there, aren't they? I guess let's go pick them up real quick. All right. Lesson learned. Let's stay more in the, this middle area. Two, three. All right. Pretty solid. Yeah. Oh, four attacks. Okay. Back up. Uh, Estus. Two. Uh, whip. Back to regular damage again. One more should do it. There we go. Cool. All right. Demon of Soul Song, uh, Soul, and Key to the Embedded. Oh, wasn't the Embedded the, um, the weird upside down torture chamber guy in that, uh, in Drang Lake t Tower that we just totally had to run past? I think it was. I do believe it was. Nice. Uh, Lesser Foe still ahead, or that was a lesser foe? I mean, it was, you know, it was not the 
the toughest foe, but it was a kind of a cool aesthetic. Oh. Uh, I don't know if I'm meant to be fighting you, am I? That looks like the edge of a cliff. Um, am I meant to be going in here, or is this another sign of the king scenario? Also, I see you, frog. Don't think that I don't. Present the sign of the king, or... Lightning in the water, that's probably a bad combination for me. Wouldn't it be? I don't know, I'm, I'm going to assume I've got to get back here. Well, fortunately, he's not super interested in pursuing me, so I can kind of just do whatever. Oh, nice. Backstab. That feels nice. Try hidden path. Hey, a door actually opens. Cool. What do we got here? Back? Left? Okay. Right? Yep. Okay, just making sure. And then this is taking us back where exactly? Oh, further down. Hmm. Okay, well, hopefully there's a bonfire down here. Man, we look cool. Uh, now the question is what to do with our newly acquired 41,000 souls. That's a lot of uh, currency. I guess we could keep putting stuff into intelligence. But a lot of the cooler stuff is up at like 27, 37 or whatever. I'm not sure you know, like from a cost-benefit standpoint, how much extra juice I'm going to squeeze out of these spells um, investing that much more of my soul currency into it. I don't know. Think about it. Whoa! Oh, it's you again. Hello. Now, what's your name? I don't even know if he's introduced himself yet. Yeah, once or twice. Well, just once. Um, I don't know. Ambition, love of the game. Life in the wind. Beautiful. It enchants us. To the point of obsession. Some are true to the hopeless that they have shaped. Crashing mind. One man lost his own body to the lingered on as a head. Others. Oh, we met that guy who lived on as a head. Bendrick. Or no, not Bendrick. Um, the, it starts with a V. The guy whose who's, uh, mask we have. Vengarl. I knew it was a V. It was a Ven. Do I desire peace? I mean... 
What do you mean? Like, do I do I desire to continue in my quest? If so, the answer is yes. I do desire... I wish that this was a little bit more elucidated for me. I was listening to what you were saying, but... Do I still desire peace? I desire peace through victory. So... Yes? I guess? Venrit, the near true monarch, is here, and not far off. But what is it? You, neither born with great missile grounded in my defense. What is it you see? I'm, I feel pretty great. You cannot even say yourself. <laughs> you show me again. I wonder what would ha have happened had I answered no. Good thing that I interpreted his question correctly. <laughs> At least I assume I assume I did. So Ventric is close. It still doesn't really feel like the end of the game. I don't know. Gave us a lot to think about. Um, let's go check back in with Emerald Herald. See if she has anything new to say to us. We should probably stock up on life gems as well, now that I'm thinking about it. So let's do that first, before anything else. Uh, what are we at right now? We're at 30. Let's get to an even... I don't know, maybe even 60? Yeah? And levels cost about 17,000 apiece nowadays, so we'll probably need to crack a large soul of a proud knight gives 2,000, so maybe like two of these. Something like that. Bearer of the until. Uh, yes, yes, very good. I almost want to grab a couple more into vitality because finding good armor to wear and stay at 50% or below has been a real pain in the derriere. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get our equipment load up a bit higher. Because I want to wear new cool new stuff that works better than my current stuff, you know? Let's see, so to that end, um, if I took this off, we're at 47.4. Oh, I need to get my uh, Hood of the Forlorn repaired, because I actually kind of like that look pretty well. Repair that for me. Thank I'll be you. around if you want it back. So assuming that we're going to switch to that hood... Right, that gives us a little bit more wiggle room. I was looking at this Alon Captain Armor. It looks pretty cool, but 56.7 is a bit out of our range. Uh, yeah. Probably just going to be rocking this coat for the foreseeable future. Gauntlets are good. Uh, let's see, the mannequin boots. We could... Ooh, a skirt. Priestess skirt. Actually, can't really see much of a difference, can we? Um, peasant trousers. I would love to do the arch drake boots. That kind of matches with the set, right? And then the gauntlets, we could get something slightly lighter. Hollow infantry gloves, or no, leather gloves. And I think that works for now. Maybe eventually get to the point where we can wear these dark gauntlets. Uh, 
Nice. Um, anything else we want to do while we're here? I think we're good. So back into the undead crypt. Oh, hello. Good thing we always check our corners. A radiant life gem. What about the other side? Um, oh. Something. Disappointment. Try attacking. I don't believe you. Be wary of right, but be wary of left. <laughs> What are these, like, arrow slits or something? Am I going to trigger a trap? Oh, no. Just trigger... More of these guys. Yeah, so we're in serious uh, territory now where these guys become common enemies. What is this? A drum? in your little doorway, man. Okay, we'll do this one first. You just gonna stay there? That's cool. Torch. Extra torch time is always appreciated. Oh, these guys are these these are actually dudes. Uh What's your deal, man? Whoa. Hello. Yeah, you you scared me away, all right. Nice. Love when that actually works. Alright. Fighting with two shields. Unconventional. But I gotta respect it. Whoa. Camera not so good. What's the play here? Okay. Good thought. I run back behind here real quick. Ooh. Well, he did not like care for that. Oh, he doesn't even drop a cool shield. I mean, not that I use shields, but it's the principle of the thing, you know? Alright, well. Ooh, what am I looking at over there? Oh, magic. Of course it's more magic. Alright. Hmm. What's the best way of tackling this? Get through this pillar. Uh -oh. You know what? Let's start from the top. Okay. That's one. Let's 
Let's go behind this pillar real quick. Ooh, yikes. Oh, one more. Okay. Yeah, I respect that. Oh, and I'm poisoned right now. I missed that. Even though it was in big glowing letters. Bum ba dum ba dum. Oh, it is a torch thing. I'm dumb. <laughs> Remember in the beginning where I was like, "Is this a, is this a drum or whatever?" That was me. That's what I sound like. Okay. Well, let's save ourselves a flame butterfly and just light up. I don't know how often we're gonna be coming through here, but. Couldn't hurt, right? Oh. Oh. Okay. I thought for sure that it was going to be a torch. Uh, sconce or whatever. Okay. Is it not? Okay, no, it's just an oil drum. I think. Be wary of torch. Meaning what? What am I looking at? Doesn't it look like there's somebody on the f floor? Here. Yeah. What am I looking at? There's somebody sitting there that I see the outline of. Be wary of torch? Does that mean I shouldn't have a torch? Merchant ahead, but dark required. Oh, I see. Got it, got it, got it, got it. So is there somebody down here to talk to now? No. Hold. Human. Do not produce light. Oh, wow. Okay. Light. And all those who bear it are unwelcome in this place. Okay. Roger that. I will forbear. There's a guy up there we should try to get to. What's up, guys? Are we cool? Don't you dare. Oh, okay. We're chill. Can I take this at least? Is that all right? Try attacking. Well, let's talk to this guy first. What's your deal? I am Agdane, guardian of the crypt. Countless dead rest here in peace. Cradled by the comfort of dark. Light only agitates. We have no need for it here. Mm, I get you. It's overrated. I am a finito. We weave death and watch over the dead. This task was granted to me by the one who gave us the first death. Countless souls rest here. Some of them from ages long ago. Some were rich, others poor. Some wise, some dull, but now... They're all just dead. Did you come for him? The one called Fendrick. You will find him deeper inside. Many castle servants and the like have come to fetch their lord. But they rest here now, put to death by the king's armed guards. Perhaps he's not in the mood for company. 
No, I don't imagine so, especially the kind of company I will bring. In the past, humans were one with the dark. The former king of light, he feared humans. Feared that they would usher in an age of dark. How queer are you humans? How you go on? Never separating truth from fiction. Hmm. The former king of light, meaning Gwyn? Back in the day? This place is welcome to all, provided due reverence is shown. Death is equitable, accepting. We will all one day be welcomed by her embrace. Tell me what you desire. Show me reverence. And I will lend you my hand. Okay, so don't pop a torch. Got it. We'll learn the gesture. Have mercy. Cool. I am a finito. This task was okay. Somewhere. Yeah, you said that. Is that bar. it? This place is dead. Tell me what you. Okay. What do you sell? Ring of thorns plus one. Ring counterattacks when damage is taken. Okay, interesting. A uh, bunch of dark arrows, dark damage, DD. Effigies, <laughs> Elizabeth mushrooms, great. Saint Elizabeth devoted her life to helping the needy by concocting medicine and potions. It's thought her great virtue is matched only by her sublime beauty. But who can say now? Yeah, who can say? Soul vortex and soul spear. Soul of Peas and Warmth. What would that do? Creates a gentle warm flame that heals those who touch it. Oh, okay. Oh, so a Pyromancy that heals. That's actually kind of intriguing. I would probably use that more than... Um, py like, offensive Pyromancy. Alright. Um, should I take this Ring of Thorns plus one? I don't know. Be kind of neat to add it to the collection, I guess. Sure, why not? Farewell, human. Okay. Attacking? No, I don't think that's going to do anything. Cool. I like your guys' look. Very intimidating. And we got a fog gate up here. Try torch? Should I? I thought that guy was like, don't use a torch, wasn't he? Didn't he? Stay calm and then be wary of ring. Right down. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is going to be exciting. Okay. So what, anything we need to do to prepare ourselves. Let's go ahead and take throwing knives out of the inventory just so we can scroll between things a bit easier. Uh, we'll go ahead and magic up our weapon before we go in. And I guess that's all there is to it. I don't, I don't know what to do to prepare. Uh, let's go over here, magic it up. I assume we're not going to rock a torch out of reverence for... Oh. Never mind. Try left and then bonfire. Oh, boy. Bells? Oh, puzzle. Ding dong. That did. Oh, wow. Okay.
What? There we go. Okay. Dark Quartz Ring plus two. Aladia Black Hood. Ooh. Sounds interesting. I'm definitely a hood type of guy. Dried Fingers. Bonfire Ascetic. Twinkling Titanite. Alright, Dried Fingers. That's a new one for me. I don't think we've come across that before. Um... Here we go. Multiple knuckles. Shriveled but radiating a particular warmth. By the number of knuckles, it sh couldn't have been human, but perhaps some questions are best left unasked. <laughs> I love weird items that I have no idea what to do with. Very interesting. And then Hood of the Forlorn versus the Lady of Black Hood. Let's see how it looks. Ah, uh, Not as cool. And also not as good mechanically. Okay, there's something going on with these bells. Oh. Oh, where did you come from? I'm stuck on these bells. What do we do? So does the do the bells summon the people? No, I don't want to target. I want to target this guy. I think they must. Yeah. Oh man. The bells must summon these uh, ghosts. So endless enemies. So we're back here by the grave warden. And I wonder if maybe it's worth exploring some of these areas around here. Uh, that area up there is pretty tough, that area with all the rocks. Let me... Oh, hello. Let me just drop down here and see if there's anything worth acquiring. Let me give up. Soul of a great hero, what's that worth? 20,000? Oh my gosh. 20,000 souls? <coughs> My surprise is uh, palpable. Okay. Well, that's sure nice. Oh, one of you. Okay, yep. Is the spirit going to come up here and... No. They've got no time for us. Crushed eye orb and... What is the crushed... Crushed one do? Hang on. That spear's just gonna hang out there. Uh, what does a crushed eye orb do again? Where are all... Where, where are all my eye orbs at? Show yourself. Um... Crushed? I have like a bajillion cracked red eye orbs. Oh, here we go. Skeptic spice cracked. Oh, okay. Crushed eye orb. Invade the world of a traitor. It writhes unsteadily in search of dishonorable miscreants. Where are the fiends? Where are they? Alright, heal up again. All right, there's more areas to drop down, and I am tempted to. Oh, one of you. Uh, well, let me look here first of all. Oh. What am I looking at? Touch pool of blood. Sure. Whoa. What happened? Oh, <laughs> you know that thing that <laughs> touch pool of blood. Yeah, I know what that is. So what do I, what do I do with this? Don't you dare! Can I can I interact with it somehow? Or 
What happens if I attack it? Nothing. Nothing happens. That's weird. That's very weird. Um, is this another, like, torch situation? I'm a little nervous about lighting up a torch because... of the, uh, Grave Warden or whatever. I don't know, but maybe, maybe we will. Maybe it makes the area easier somehow. Assuming that my theory is correct. Uh, alright. Check out the ladder first. I mean, there's candles in here, so we can't be too unhappy. Maybe he just doesn't like... Yeah. There's candles here. Soul of a hero. Nice. I'll take that. He's... I'm sure he's okay with some light. Just not, like, light in his immediate vicinity. Oh! Well, how about a bonfire? I'll take that. Absolutely. Um... Sweet. I'm actually wondering if maybe the bells are bad. You could destroy these rocks, right? Yeah, you can. But I feel like these guys will continue to spawn, right? Maybe you have to destroy this. Maybe this is like a summoning thingy for them. So the trick is... Oh, yeah. And see, that's why they put that little reward there next to the, um, the bells. Because they want you to break it. And summon a bunch of a bajillion guys. I bet you that's the trick. Oh, hello. Oh, more skeletons. Yeah, it's remarkably more quiet here now that um, I haven't gone and deliberately hit a bunch of bells. <laughs> like that one, for instance. Soul of a hero. Cool. And that's why it was so easy to walk through here before, uh, up to that ladder, is because there was... I hadn't hit a bunch of bells at that point. Or something. Okay. Oh, hello. Whoa! Oh, gosh. I don't know how that massive fireball didn't kill me, but thank goodness. All right, dare I go and grab my souls here? I think I dare. This is also brutal for my Uchi. Oh, gosh. Yep, confirmed. No, no, no. No, mutually assured destruction. Well, okay, let's take a run at this again. Okay, we have gotten our revenge, and fortunately, the, uh, the old, um, statues do not seem to respawn, which is fantastic news for us. And means we can move on to the next room <laughs> with more bells. Great.
course it's not. Never that easy. Oh gosh. What have I wrought? Right, let's run back in here real quick. Heal up. Drink another one. Dark Knight Stone. Fight Knight Shard. All right, need to find this statue. Probably going to be back here, right? Yeah. That works for me. <laughs> Just the casual no look kill. Bracing Knuckle Ring, plus two. I don't have time to see what that is right now. But when we get... The next time we get to safety, you can be sure. Well, maybe that time it actually is now. Never mind. We're not being beset upon on all sides. Something Knuckle Ring. Slows equipment degradation. Oh, that would be helpful for a place like this, I guess, right? What is more... I mean, our degradation is not terrible except for our Uchi, right? Which is understandably brittle. Alright, there's a... Oh! Nameless Usurper! It's been a hot minute. Okay. Let's do this. I'm ready. Where are you? Nice. I will heal the next opportunity we have. Go. The walls have ghosts in them. That's my new Stephen King novel idea. He can't use it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I thought I, I should have... I went through that uh, too quickly. Illusory wall, right? Oh! One of these messages actually paid off. It's been a while. And there's bloodstains in there, huh? Why are there bloodstains? Uh, I went through the rewards a little bit too quickly. I didn't see what I got up, got from Forlorn. Was it just a human effigy or was there something else? Good. Man, 21,000 souls already. We are really racking it up. Avalyn? Avalyn? It's like a javelin, but that lost the J. And heavy bolt. What is an Avalyn? I don't even know what type of weapon I should be looking for. Mm, not there. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. An extremely rare rapid firing crossbow. That looks pretty cool, actually. Fire three successive bolts, inflict heavy damage by making all three shots count. Firenza, the richest merchant in all of Volgren, recreated this lost weapon after reading of it in an old book. Me likey. Also, me to wiki to use it. Close range battle? Sure. All right. Let's take a quick break here. And then uh, more Undead Crypt coming your way.